Have you ever thought about the most dominant dog breeds? When thinking of dog breeds, we need to understand that even within a given family, some dogs will be more dominant than others. Usually, you can tell how dominant or submissive your dog is by observing their interaction with different dogs and animals. While most breeds fall somewhere between dominant and submissive, a few tend to fall squarely on one side or the other. When properly trained, however, they prove to be loyal companions and excellent guard dogs. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number 5. Giant Schnauzer The Giant Schnauzer is a working breed of dog developed in the 17th century in Germany. They can be a loyal and courageous companion for the person who can provide them with the training, exercise, and attention they need. By nature, the giant schnauzer is suspicious and shy around strangers. That makes this breed an excellent guard dog. These dogs can be a handful even for experienced trainers. So, they need an owner who can enforce the rules without being forceful. Thanks to its dominant personality and independent thinking, the giant schnauzer isn't right for inexperienced owners or homes with young children. Number 4. Siberian Husky It is easy to see why many are drawn to the Siberian's wolf-like looks, but beware because this athletic, intelligent dog can act independently and challenge first-time dog parents. They are extremely difficult to train, so first-time dog owners or timid people should consider other breeds. Huskies fit best with confident, experienced dog owners who set rules and deliver consistency. According to many owners, the Siberian Huskies are one of the worst dog breeds to train because they listen only to the pack leader. Number 3. American Bulldog American Bulldogs are very dominant and also very protective. An energetic, active working dog, the American Bulldog exudes a dominant, powerful, and athletic appearance with strong muscles and substantial boning. He is recognized for his strength, courage, and working abilities, whether guarding property or driving livestock. Often their strong drives and dominance cause American bulldogs to be aggressive towards other dogs. They love to play rough with each other, but unfortunately as they mature they often become aggressive with each other and fight. Number 2. Sharpe. The Sharpe can be traced back to the province of Kuangtung and is thought to be related to the Chow Chow and the Tibetan Mastiff. The breed started out as a working companion of farmers and peasants who used them for cattle herding, guarding, and hunting. Sharpe's are loyal to their handler, intelligent, playful and dominant. They are also easygoing, calm, independent, and devoted. Socialization from a young age, sufficient exposure to life outside of their familiar surroundings, and obedience training are all required when owning this breed. Sharpe will do well with someone who trains them fairly and with compassion, a harsh approach will do absolutely nothing for these dogs. Number 1. The Neapolitan Mastiff The Neapolitan Mastiff or Mastino is a large dog breed from Italy. This massive breed is often used as a guard and defender of family and property due to their protective instincts and their fearsome appearance. They are also known for their great loyalty, their powerful temperament and physical strength. These dogs need to socialize and require positive training. For this reason, they are recommended for experienced dog companions. Anyone who chooses to own one of these dominant dog breeds on this list needs to train and socialize their dog from the day they bring him home and continue that training throughout his life. Socialize him, teach him good manners, and be consistent with rewards. Your dog will learn to see you as a good leader in no time. And that brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. This is Love for Animals. Thank you for watching.